Hi, welcome to the Page Family Homestead. My name's Peggy. Um, I just lost my voice. Andy's gone out to help a friend with something and then he'll be back. He'll probably be breaking in any time. What are we making today? Another family special from our private family handwritten cookbook recipes over the years since since oh gosh since I had my own household the recipes that the family enjoyed recipes that were a do-over family recipes handed down um, handwritten in their hand into the book and it's just been loved and used so much it's falling apart so I'm gonna do little videos of the recipes in there that I think everybody would enjoy and that my family would like to keep. Um, I gotta do a video working on that book, fixing it up too. Um, so what we're making is a very old traditional Canadian Christmas and New Year's meat dish. I'm not gonna pronounce it properly and I do apologize. It's a French Canadian recipe. It's called tortier. It's a meat pie. And this one has been in the direct family, oh, probably one, two, three, four with the grandkids, might even be the fifth generation. Um, so we're just going to, I'm just going to get things set up. What we're going to be using is a handmade pie crust. I got the bottom here already rolled out and prepared. I've got the top crust still wrapped in cellophane in the fridge. I'll bring that out when this is ready and we'll roll that out. What I have in this bowl is a half a pound of lean hamburger, ground I guess you call it, we call it hamburger, um, and a half pound of pork. I also will be adding a teaspoon of salt as well as one third cup of finely chopped onions. I like to call them McDonald's onions, like they're cut tiny. Okay, so I'll just get the camera readjusted so you can watch how we, oh, and I think it's a quarter cup. I took a, a picture for the video so that these guys could see the recipe. Uh, let's see, ground beef, pork, onion, a quarter cup of water. And that's going to help our meat stay moist because we're only going to cook it until the pink just leaves, right? And it's still nice and soft and juicy. You'll see. I'll bring you in. So there we have our half a pound of pork, half a pound of beef, our one third cup of finely, finely cut onion. It asks for one teaspoon of salt and a quarter teaspoon of pepper. I forgot the pepper. Better put the fire on. On medium heat. And I'm just going to cook this down, guys, just for a few minutes. Let the fats all render in there, and uh, then I'm going to add the water. And we're going to proceed until the pink has left the building. This is so good, guys. Especially with the pastry crust that we have. And, and that recipe, I'll type it out again. Um, it's the same as the one that I used for the chicken, or sorry, turkey pot pie. But I'll put a link to that video and I will type it out again. But we don't need to see me make it and roll it again. <laughs> okay, so we'll just do double, triple, eight times speed here for you. Hey everybody, a little reminder, head over to Tomorrow A Day Farms. 
go visit Miss Tracy. She has a wonderful collaboration playlist for everybody. A very merry home study Christmas. We have your desserts, we have your bars, we have your cookies. There are main dishes, there are side dishes. There's definitely something for everybody. Please go on over. We are very proud to be a part of this playlist and some wonderful channels have also joined in. Make sure you tell her the Page Family Homestead sent you over and then go peek out at all the wonderful recipes. All right, the pink is gone. Still nice and juicy. I have the heat off. I'm just gonna let this cool a few minutes and we're gonna continue with the build. Oh, this meat pie is so traditional, so good. And like I said, they only seem to have it Christmas Eve is big on Christmas Eve and New Year's, New Year's Eve. Okay, just bring you back when this is cool. It's a little bit. Now, I understand that this is not your, um, I sprinkled some garlic powder over the top. The meat is still nice and moist. Um, I did strain it, but I didn't take all the liquid out. So I know that this is not your traditional, traditional French Canadian tortier. They do include a baked potato mashed with into the meat. I have never ever seen my children's paternal uh, mamere and pepere serve it that way. They've always done it this way and this is the way our children remember it and love it and this is the way we continue to make it. It's very basic, it's very plain, but the flavors, you go to midnight mass, you come home, Christmas Eve and you quickly have a piece of meat pie, tortier, smothered in ketchup. I mean, you got to eat it with ketchup. And then you rush off to bed quickly so that Santa can come, right? So these are the memories of the uh, tortier, as they call it. And we will continue to make it this way. It's just part of memories and that's what food's all about right guys it's about making your own memories your own recipes that your family appreciates the oven is going to be preheated to 425 and let's see here we go got our white bird in today to help flute I'm not going to make any other cuts in the pie I'm going to use a man tool, Andy. <laughs> See, it's one of its many uses. My goodness. Okay. We have some extra crust here, too. Okay, we have some extra crust on here, too. I'll just lop that off with a knife as I go around later. Very basic, guys. I'm going to brush this with a whipped egg wash. So the egg white, the egg yolk, and a tablespoon of water. And just before, I'll do that just before it goes in the oven. And it's going to cook 20 to 25 minutes at 425 degrees. You can freeze it. They freeze beautifully. Then when you go, you know, midnight mass, you, you just... Just manage to take it out of the freezer, throw it on the counter, and have it cooking when you get home so that by the time everybody's got their snow suits off, boots and coats off, everything's put away, the pie will be ready with the rest of the meal. 
bring you back. So there we have it. I've just had a little bit of dough cut off the sides. So I made some primitive Christmas trees with triangles, right? Just to decorate it up a bit. Got my egg with one tablespoon of water. And I'm just going to quickly bath the pie in this. And this will help this stay together too. <laughs> I love using my little pie birds. Perfect for venting a pie. Uh, a friend of mine thought, oh, good idea. So she ran and got her. Uh, she has a salt and pepper collection, and she ran and got one of them and stuck them in. No, don't do that. These are made to be used in the oven. She figured because it had a hole at the bottom when she took the plug out. And with the t holes on the top that it would work. Good idea in theory, but it wasn't made for that function. So, yeah, it cracked and broke and she had to throw her pie away. Lesson learned. Make sure. Uh, we we got ours from, uh, got one, uh, one of them from Angie at Life and More Reloaded. And I had a couple from Amazon, too. And uh, I'm grateful to have three because quite often... Well, not right now with the COVID, but quite often when we get together, family get-togethers, I'd be able to now make three pies instead of just one, right? With the pie bird, the pie vent. Amazon sells them. I'd like to start finding some of the old Victorian ones. Oh, man, you get into collecting those? Hoo-hoo. Yeah, you better be rich or find an estate and they don't know what it is. Okay. 425 degrees for 20 to 25 minutes. Bring you back when we have that out of the oven. There it is. About 23 minutes. Look at that. And the little primitive trees turned out pretty. The whole crust is nice and golden. The bird did his trick. Everything's beautiful. I'm not cutting into this pie, guys. It's just Andy and I for Christmas. I just wanted to show you, if I could. It's just Andy and I for Christmas this year. So I want to save this for our Christmas Eve and New Year's Eve. <laughs> this one pie will do us for both. I'll just, we'll eat half and freeze half. Okay, baby, I cut you a piece of... Pie. I'm back for another taste test. <laughs> oh, I hate my job. <laughs> now, guys, I cut a really tiny piece because I felt bad about not doing a taste test. It's for our Christmas Eve meal. How's that pie? Oh, the crust is great. I know. It's a no-fail. Mm. Good, eh? Is the meat still nice and Very juicy? Very good. Yes, it is. Awesome. Pie's nice and flaky. Mm -hmm. Very. Enough garlic, salt, and pepper. Oh, yeah. Basic. Just basic, guys. 50 50 for ground beef, ground mm. pork, salt, and pepper, garlic, and water. That's it. For the use that, for use that don't know the technical term, <laughs> it's half and half. <laughs> 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 Just saying. You know what that needs? A big dollop of ketchup. Or a beer. <laughs> <laughs> Gosh, no. <laughs> there you go, guys. So with Tell this, me, guys. With this, we'll close. <laughs> okay, give us a thumbs up if you like this video. Uh, if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. And don't forget that notification bell. Ding, 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 ding. And we get to see all our videos. <laughs> and all the taste tests. And all the taste testing. <laughs> I'd be 500 pounds within a month. <laughs> <laughs> Taking out the old wood stove and installing a new one. Can't wait to paint this room, can you? Pardon? Paint. Yeah. That'll be good. Yeah. Get rid of the toilet yellow. Yep. Absolutely. Ooh. Gonna have a fire tonight.
Hey, Pardon? can I have a fire tonight? Yeah, I'm gonna try it. Have to test it. 